start all my talks, even at the Jewish synagogue, with Wai Guruji Ka Khalsa, Wai Guruji Ki Fateh. And even though we're in an educational institution, I think they'll understand. So I'm going to talk about the 25th year anniversary of the opening of the Smesh Culture Center. And I think this is a really important topic because as we're commemorating uh, the Kamagata Maru and the 100 years of that occurring, we're also looking at building the bridges within our community. So this is a really appropriate talk or topic as well. Now, I'm going to cover a couple of things. I'm going to look at why this anniversary and why the building of the Gurdwara was so important. And Martindale Gurdwara, the Smesh Culture Center, is the biggest Gurdwara in Calgary in the Northeast. What were the obstacles to building the Gurdwara? What were the organizational perspectives? And what were the international connections that happened? What was the preparation for the opening ceremonies? And what was the outcome? And so this is important to building bridges within the Canadian community because this is an example of one of the biggest gurdwaras within city limits. The Sikh Society of um, Calgary did exist before the Smesh Culture Center. However, that was at that time outside of city limits, and this was the first Gurdwara built within the city limits. And this picture is from the time of the construction. This project was about 1.6 million. The majority of those people who helped to build it were volunteers. The other reason that the opening of the, um, the Smish Culture Center is important because we had so many Sikh issues happening um, with nationally within Canada, with Baltej going in the RCMP with the turban. We had the local issue of the issue of Calgary children wearing kirpans in school and the Calgary Public Board of Education reviewing that policy. And that was all happening at the same time as the opening or the building of the Gurdwara, and specifically at the time of the opening ceremonies as well. In fact, I actually spoke to the Calgary Public Board of Education and was part of that panel presentation to allow Sikh children, and we still, Sikh children up until this day, still have the right to wear kirpans in this public school system. The other important um, aspect of building bridges with the opening of the Smesh Culture Center was the interaction, the first time that there was Sikh international leadership interaction with the local politicians and the provincial leadership. And here we see a picture of Yogiji or Siri Singh Sap by Sab Harbhajan Singh Khalsa Yogiji talking to Mayor Al Dura at the time, and on, his, uh, on the other side is the alderwoman, or alderman as we're supposed to say in Calgary, Yvonne Fritz. So what were some of the obstacles about building the Gurdwara? Well, one of the obstacles was the community, the community concerns of Martindale that there was gonna be so much increased traffic. And in fact, the Martindale Community Association actually signed a petition, 500 names on signatories on the petition, saying you can't build this Gurdwara there because you're gonna create problems for us. There were also funding issues, and this is where some of the provincial leadership comes in because the provincial government did give a little bit of a grant for building of the Gurdwara, but the majority of the funding came from donations from within the Sikh community. There were building issues. So there was one foreman, his name was Mr. Neal, and the rest were all volunteers. And he was the head honcho, and everybody followed. And there is a story even, and you saw the picture of how high the Gurdwara is. On the scaffolding, he was actually hammering away on the scaffolding one day and fell down and hit the concrete. And they thought, oh my God, his spine's broken or he's dead. And he got up and looked, he was shocked that he was okay. And he said, you know, this has to be a house of God because there's no, that was a miracle because there's no way I should have survived that without getting injured. So there were issues with building. So we had volunteers approximately on record, there's approximately 100 volunteers, but that was the construction people. 
there were volunteers of aunties and um, the older ladies making the food, taking it to the Gurdwara. There were cha runs where chayati was going to the Gurdwara several times a day. So there were all these different types of volunteers. And then in the midst of that, we had the obstacle trying to convince the whole Calgary community that Sikhs are okay, that be having a turban is not a big deal, that we can join regular Canadian society like Bothage was trying to do. However, it's very interesting that that whole issue erupted from Lethbridge, from Alberta too. So, and it went cross, cross country. There were issues about Sikhs in the press in, with regards to the whole issue about the Air India attacks in 1984. And then there was also that perception based on what the press was saying about terrorists. So we had a lot of obstacles at when the building of the Gurdwara occurred. There was a lot of vandalism. And that vandalism occurred at the Smesh Culture Center. But even outside of city limits, we know at the Sikh society as well, they also dealt with vandalism. And, but the interesting thing was the community was so engaged with regards to the volunteer commitment, the seva aspect of all of the volunteers. And we had one sp specific um, Babaji, older gentleman, who um, he used to do his full-time work and come and then would sit and, and would work there and volunteer six hours a day and full-time on the weekends. And so you could always see him at the Gurdwara doing something. So I'm going to look at the organizational perspectives and the international Sikh connections. Now, the, the Smesh Culture Center was under the project of Sikh Youth Federation of Canada. And this constitution was very unique and still remains to be the only constitution where the uh, Sikh Gurdwara outside of, or Sikh constitution outside of Punjab, India, is associated with the SGPC or Sharomni Gurdwara Prabandhak Committee. And at that time, the President Gurcharan Singh Dora, as well as the Siri Singh Sam, who was the Chief Administrative Authority of Sikh Youth Federation of Canada, they crafted the constitution, and based on that crafting, Sikh Youth Federation of Canada was born. And the importance of that is that Yogi Ji or Sir Singh Sab always said that unity, unity amongst the Sikh community means survival. So how do we survive if we stay interconnected? And he knew that, you know, dealing as a minority in a cultural mosaic, you need to stay unified. So Sikh Youth Federation had two branches, BC and Alberta. And it was a model, Yogiji's thought in creating this was a model of a Sikh institution where the diaspora could be unified and connected. And I do want you all to note that this um, uh, Sikh Youth Federation of Canada was not linked in any way, shape, or form to the international Sikh Youth Federation that had other uh, connotations. So it was really important, and you can see on the letterhead, this is old letterhead that I had, and you can see Sikh Youth Federation of Canada, and you can see Yogi Ji's impact here, dedicated to the service of Sikh Dharma, and of course, Yogi Ji's organization, Sikh Dharma International. And then we have the Smesh Culture Center as well. So what happened, I'm going to get into the intimate details of what happened now, because I was just a medical student, and I got admitted to medical school, and I told Yogi Ji that I think the Gurdwara executive is going to ask me to join the executive, and so what should I do? And he said to me, forget about medical school, forget about studying, just do seva, 200% seva, and everything else will follow. And so then I got accepted, or the executive, I joined the executive, and there were 13 men and me, and, um, and that sort of the whole project took forth. So in the midst of everything, Yogiji would call me and say, I have this project for you to deal with. So we dealt with, on a local basis, the issue of turbans in the RCMP and about education. We were going out and teaching at schools. But then the Kirpan issue ha happened, 
And Yogiji called me and said, this is in Calgary, this is your area, this is, you got to stand up and say something about it. And he said to me, Canada is a very unique place. You have to stand firm with grace and you will be heard. So I always remembered that. So with the planning of the, the opening ceremonies, it took me a whole month to do because we were doing invitations, we were dealing with the press, we were dealing with our dignitaries coming from far away, we were dealing with local dignitaries. It took me a full month and I did not go to medical school for a full month. I only went where I needed to go, where I had to show my face and be show attendance, but it took the whole month. And how it happened is Yogiji asked me, or the Sirsings have asked me, to invite specific international Sikh leaders. So he asked, actually told me, he said, I'm going to be in Rome, Italy. This is what's going to happen. I'm not going to be feeling good, but I'm still going to come. I want you to set the program for a full week long program. I want you to invite Baba Nihal Singh. If you phone him, he will come. And I want you to call India and call by Jeevan Singh. And you tell him he, he needs to be there. And if you tell him, he'll come. If I tell him, he's not going to come. So um, at that time, we were dealing with a whole bunch of issues and making phone calls as well. We were dealing with the press. And we also had a full page uh, spread in the Calgary Herald. And we did the interview series over a, approximately a week. And in the midst of that, so we're dealing with all the issues with the press. In the midst of that, the um, Gordon Legg with the Calgary Herald, he says to me, Hajo, you wear a kirpan. And the kirpan issue was going on. And I go, yes. And he goes, can I take your picture? And I said, OK. And then the very next day, this was what was in the Calgary Herald. So we were dealing with all of these issues all at once. And uh, so when I, I did go for one thing to medical school and the medical students, my colleagues had had it on the, on the board, and then they were all asking me about it. Like, you were wearing it? You didn't tell us? Yeah. Um, so I called Baba Nihal Singh, and Baba Nihal Singh is from the Nihang uh, tradition, Sikh tradition, the warrior Sikhs. He is charged from the SGPC to um, uh, take care of 27 historical Gurdwaras all across India. So I had him lined up and he was very supportive and said no problem. Yogiji had a specific topic for him to talk on and Babaji said no problem, I'll be there. And so he actually came ahead of time. And then I did call by Jeevan Singh in India. He was surprised to hear from me. And he said, no problem, I will come. But by Jeevan Singh is of the Akhand Kirtani background. And he is a Kirtani or a musician. And so he also came. And then what happened was I had to invite the local dignitaries. And the local dignitaries, it really, in my mind, I, I was choosing what to do other than from the provincial government. So in my mind, it was based on whatever issues were going on at the time. So we obviously were going to have the mayor there, and, and obviously Yvonne Fritz, because that was her writing. And so when we went to meet the mayor, I remember the mayor saying, I know you. I saw your picture in the paper. And I go, yeah, you're going to come to the Gurdwara. So then I also felt it was important to invite the chief of police because we were dealing with so much vandalism and racism. And then also, because we were dealing with the Kirpan issue, I thought the uh, president of the Calgary Board of Education was important to be there. I also did send a letter of invitation to Phil Fraser, who was our L um, human rights chair of Alberta at the time. And I don't believe that anyone from their department did attend. And then from the um, provincial government, from Don Getty's era, we had um, the provincial energy minister, Rick Orman, come as well. And I want you to picture this. I didn't have a computer. I was on my typewriter typing in all of these letters because at that time, computers were not really that accessible, and I didn't even have one. So this is a picture of the opening ceremonies, and we have... Um, 
The gentleman with the blue turban is the convener of Sikhith Federation um, BC. And then we have standing next to him was the special assistant to Premier Getty. Then the two women standing next are, were with the Calgary Public Board of Education. Standing behind them was the um, minister, uh, Honorable Minister Rick Orman, the Minister of Energy. And any of you who knew Yogi Ji, he was very uh, crafty with words. So anytime he talked to Rick, he'd say, may the force be with you. <laughs> that was his blessing, may the force be with you. And then we had Yogi Ji in the center. And then we had uh, the Right Honorable Mayor Al Dur, um, Yvonne Fritz, the um, city police chief. And then we had the president of Sikhi Federation um, uh, of the Gurdwara Executive, Sardar Mohan Singh Leo. So during the opening ceremonies, which happened on June 11th, 1989, there was a reception that happened downstairs where all our dignitaries were received. And they were entertained by Yogi Ji as well as educated a little bit more. And the whole concept of bringing all these dignitaries to the Gurdwara was the concept of breaking down the barriers so you know who we are, what we're about, so that we're not a threat. We, we are just like you. Um, the, uh, in the opening ceremonies, Baba Nihal Singh spent the majority of time behind the Guru sitting and doing the Jor Sahib. This Balki that was uh, made at, uh, at the Gurdwara for the opening ceremonies was made, handmade, by a Van Vancouver artisan, and it cost about $14,000. It was the one of a kind in, um, all across Canada. He only made that one. They've changed it now. Um, and then this is a picture of some of the open, opening ceremonies. And there you see, in the center there, Rick Orman trying to do a sad and trying to sit cross-legged <laughs> as best as he could. Um, may the force be with him. Um, here's a picture again of Yogi Ji with some of his entourage as well, some of the American Sikhs. And that was a big part of the or, uh, organizing for it as well, because Yogi Ji always traveled with an entourage of, you know, 20, 30 people. So those 20, 30 people had to be housed, fed, everything, cars, security detail. It was a big deal. Here Yogi Ji is handing out booklets, and he's handing out uh, one of the publications from his organization, um, The History of Sikh Dharma International. And then this was the opening Ardas that happened on June 11th. And this is important for Sikhs. And the opening of a Gurdwara, a Gurdwara, the city Guru Granth Sahib can be in anybody's home. But the Gurdwara is known by the Nishan Sahib, by the flag, the symbolism. And so the Ardas before the Nishan Sahib, the prayer before the Nishan Sahib is of utmost importance and signifies the opening. So in the opening Ardas, Yogi Ji did the Ardas, Baba Nihal Singh is um, standing beside him. And then when the flag was raised, Yogi Ji, Baba Nihal Singh, and Bhaijivan Singh, our three international dignitaries were there from the international Sikh leadership. So in conclusion, I kind of wanted to say that the celebration of the opening of the Dismesh Culture Center by the Sikh Youth Federation of Canada was a series of firsts. It was first in that there's the first constitution of the Sikh diaspora linked to the SGPC in India. And it was also the very first time that all three international Sikh leaders, all three of them, Baba Nihal Singh, Bhai Jeevan Singh, and Yogi Ji worked together. They actually did get together in New Mexico subsequent after that, but it was the first time. And it was really interesting to me because Yogi Ji said to me, listen girl, you're the one who got us together. If it wasn't for you, we wouldn't have gotten together. So just remember that. And I remember a jam session in Yogi Ji's room with Baba Nihal on one side and Yogi Ji on one side, and they're both telling me, okay, you need to do this, we want this, we want you to do this, we, we expect this of you. So there was a lot of uh, pressure. After the opening ceremonies, um, the Sir Singh Sahib made me the first female convener of Sikh Youth Federation of 
uh, Canada Alberta branch. And now Sikh Youth Federation of Canada runs uh, the Gurdwara Guru Ram Das Darbar. And so in conclusion, what I'd like to say is at that time, the Sikh community was so small relatively, but was coming together to maintain or create an identity. And at that time, the youth, I was probably one of the newer generation of that youth, and then the youth came sort of behind, maybe let's say five years, six years, seven years. So the youth had an, a central area to congregate, and that was at the Gordwa. And then by the continual presence of some of our international leadership that would come on a regular basis, that is what consolidated the youth and created the youth group in Calgary. Because when I was a youth, I was the youth. There was no youth group. I, I didn't have a cohort. And so my cohort was the older leadership. But then after that, it allowed the families and the youth to come together. And so I do think that that is the reason that the Calgary Sikh youth are different than other North American um, cities, is because by Jeevan Singh, by Jatler Singh, all the Ragis that came, they collected the youth and they inspired them. Uh, they engaged them as well. And so that principle has stayed. It stayed throughout.